Okay, we are back. Another episode of the Let's Play. Rewatched the last episode this time without recording, you know, another five. There's kind of a constant ringing that's really frustrating me with the video. I adjusted the audio settings and hopefully it goes away. If it doesn't, I think that the only thing I can really do is keep recording. And once my new microphone gets in, then we will not have that problem anymore. But same thing as before. This guy's going to drop down. Oh, I have to remember to be stealthy. No, 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 no. Oh, there we go. All right, I have to cough, so I'm going to mute my mic. Sorry about that. Edge on over to this guy. Stab him. Throw him off the ledge. I did. I'm wondering if it's the game volume, so I went ahead and I did mute my TV. I'm hoping that it'll be a little bit better of an experience. So this time, instead of going and making that jump, I'm just going to hop up here. We're going to get the red and white pinwheel. Up top, as you can see, all the pinwheels. Red and white pinwheel. Now, that's over where the bell is. You can see it, obviously. So, just now, we are at the knight. The knight is a very annoying enemy. He is heavily armored, so he's different. You have to knock him off the cliff. So, the loaded umbrella magnet is kind of the best thing for it. You want either a Gokan Sugar to protect your own posture while you're using the Magnet Umbrella. Alternatively, you can also rock an Akko. I think I'm just going to stick with the Gokan. Um, I said um again, trying to get away from saying that. But yeah, that's the only thing that's going to be useful in this fight. So, going to head on in. Pop a Gokan, and here comes the knight. You can obviously just deflect his normal attacks. It's he can stab. Oh, you don't want to miss the attacks, obviously. He hits really hard. And then this is what you want the Magnet Umbrella for. So one more time. Deflect. 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 There we go. There we go. We got him first try. Nice. Roberto! Pretty racist thing to have him yell, but that's fine. So, now we got three prayer beads, and now we got recovers posture upon performing a successful death blow. Nice. So that is something that doubles up with the skill that we already got. Actually, I don't know if we actually got it. I know I showed it earlier. But we're going to go ahead and see about getting it. this one so we did not get it so those stack but I want descending carp and I want flowing water because those were considered priority skills none of these are really priority skills yeah none of, none of these are priority skills so I'm just going to I'll get Ichimanji Double and Breath of Nature Light next. Actually, so that shouldn't... Yeah, okay, that didn't give me a memory. It gave me the prayer read. I don't know why I thought for a second that it might have. So I'm going to leave that on. There's another mini boss in this area. He's like a spider guy. 
And we can actually reach him pretty quickly, but we have to clear out the area first. So, got some dogs. I meant to do a jump assassination, but it obviously didn't work. There we go. And there we go. Got them all. So, we can clear out this left area. Super easy. There's also some of those guys down there. Yeah, actually, we're just we're gonna go right in here. Get my carp scales. Carp scales. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna sneak. Grab the fistful of ash. I want to kill this guy first. And hop the fence. Kill him. Get their gold. Hop on up. All the way at the end, we grab this item. Keep hugging the walls. I don't like the walls like that, though. So now we have... We're going to kill the guys who are overwatching the area. So all these guys, they have obviously, you know, restricted vision. It's one of the coolest parts of the game, in my opinion, that these guys actually, like, they're wearing stuff covering their faces, and they can't actually see, which is the most accurate thing I've seen in a video game, because if you've ever worn anything over your face for an extended period of time, you're just basically blind for an extended period of time. Like, you can't see. You're just standing there. Probably standing there thinking about how hot it is. And I can't really blame them for that. <clears throat> okay. Before we do that, we are going to take the right path down. So there's a dog just past the... Oh, not past the stairs. There is another dog just past the stairs. This one. Then we have a monkey. There's the monkey. I'm going to charge my spinning. Oh, it didn't work. Worked that time. There's another monkey. First of all, item. Come here, monkey. I'm, I love how I'm like turning this into a walkthrough, and I just have not played this game in a long time. But here's that other monkey. Jump. I always am afraid that I'm like fall off the map somehow. But get my pellet. Just ahead, there's a whole bunch of monkeys up on the ridge. Can't be all of them, can it? Are there only three? Ooh, we got a persimmon. That's money. <clears throat> I actually didn't know those were optional drops from those guys. Oh. Okay. We need to backstab the Taro troop guy. Protecting the evil monkey. Not the evil, the tired monkey. Injured? Yeah, he was injured. One thing to be aware of, this is one of the areas where if you have gone and beaten one of the two barriers to the end game or I guess barriers to the late game because Genichiro is a, a um, mid game barrier boss so essentially he's the barrier to the mid game and then but you can just buy bypass him and go ahead and fight the guys who are the barriers to the late game if you kill one of them right here when you're coming through this area you're gonna get attacked by angry spirits and they're just the spirits of the enemies that you've killed up to that point and I hate them just so much because they're always the worst enemies they come at the worst time they'll like gang up on you it's pretty bad this is like a trick you think you, you think that you can climb it and you can't but <clears throat> we can run for the next idol but I, I I want my I want my mini boss. I just ate spicy food, so now my throat is like watery. It was very spicy. It was delicious though. There it is. Hello, friend. The two more are gonna hop up as we backstab this guy. 
there they are. But there's a third one over here. I tried to make a video, like, one of those, like, legitimate videos that aren't gameplay, there's just gameplay in the background. And I tried to do it while doing this scene in particular, and it, it, it didn't work. I, I failed. But you just want to tuck on to this side of it, just keep it between them. Let these two spread out, but careful, the guy in the courtyard can't see you. Just as they're walking, backstab this one. Then you come over here and backstab this one. Backstab this one. Once they're dead, we can go do a plunging attack on the guy in the courtyard. Hello, friend. Uh oh. Damn it. I really didn't mean to do that. I wanted him to die, but I wanted him to die honorably. Okay. We are going to want a combat art. I think I'm just going to use Ichimonji. So we are going to backstab this one, which is going to piss off the other ones. Oh, that thing woke up. Come on. No! <clears throat> Damn. The guy stopped me. He saved his friend. Oh, back up, back up. Okay. I think he caught it that second time. And if so, it's very impressive. Okay. Now, we can quickly go get to the next mini boss, but I don't want to. I, I want the item that's in here. I want him to attack, overcommit himself so I can grab the item. He did not overcommit, but I was still able to get it, which makes me happy. Hold up. Oh, I'm an idiot. I was, I was sitting here going, wait a second. I should be able to just get to this. I can. I just drop. Okay, this is the building that houses the next mini boss. He's a big one of these things. Don't stop throwing fire, what are you doing? Ow. There we go. So I'm super not worried about this boss. Same strategy as the Ashina Elite. You just use the loaded umbrella. All that I'm doing with these guys is I'm just doing like a short little hop. Okay. Now we fight. So you can use the loaded umbrella super unnecessary. You just bounce on his head and you just time his arms. Oh. Did not time his arms well. Did that time. Did better. Oof. There we go.
All right. First try. Much pride. Very happy. I used to, like, my first time I would always use the loaded umbrella. And, and then I realized it was just actually easier. You just keep your guard up, and when he stops attacking, you hold it. And it lets you recover your posture, just holding the block. Which is like the opposite of every game I've seen. That he, you know, that really just encourages you to hold block. It makes sense to me, but still was strange first time. So, grabbed all the items. Now I gotta go up this path to get there. Oh, what the hell? I am going to switch this to Whirlwind Slash because we might get mobbed in a second. Because of these wolves. I think these wolves do poison. Not sure though. I think there's something wrong with them. They're diseased for sure. At least that's what I tell myself to make myself okay with the fact that I just butchered like 10 of them. Totally unnecessarily because I could have snuck by, but I wanted that random balloon that I will never use. I'm just not moving. Excellent. Oh. How did you two not see me? Follow me. Let's go. Why are you walking all weird? Just come fight me. That was, I expected better from him. I just did. Okay. That's just the path, and then... Should be a guy throwing bombs somewhere up here. Oh, there's a big boy, member of the Taro troop, up here around the rock. And backstab him, let's go. Grab the item. Okay. You're coming down the hill. I need. I want a grapple point up there. I don't see any, though. Nope. Can't do any. Double, no oh boy. Oh, I want to backstab this guy so bad. Come here, big boy. Okay. Oh, he's throwing more explosions at me. Hello, you. Okay, so that went really, really well, actually. That's good. Continue sneaking up. On our left is where we could have popped up. So we could have just climbed up the rock wall right there. Got up here. Then drop down. Grab the Ungos. And I'm just going to run past literally everything. So these guys, you can mid-air death blow them, but it's just really hard. They're my least favorite enemies in the game, just because of how challenging they are. Like with two of them, I don't even know how you could beat them. All right. We made it to the next idol. It is very, very exciting. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna acquire skills. And 
I'm gonna get Breath of Nature Light. Next, I'll get Ichimanji Double, and then I will get the Ashina Cross. Those will be the next two things I get. That way I have the mas the book mastered. But saving points for now, that'll take another eight. Ooh, and I, I can go ahead and I can level up, and that'll be the last thing we do, so. Not acquire skills, enhance physical attributes, boom. We're good. Actually, I will. I'll go ahead and go back to the dilapidated temple because we did a bunch. I'll use my gourd seed and then we'll end it. I'll think about where we want to go next. If we want to continue the way that we are, if we even can. I'm not 100% sure on that. We'll check that out next time. And then there's also the area with all the gunmen that I'm interested in checking out. So we'll go that way in the next episode. But for now, I just... God, I'm having so much fun playing this game again. This really is a blast. If you haven't played it and you're just like watching videos on YouTube, please go play this game. It's just a complete masterpiece. All right, we're good. All upgraded. So we're gonna end the uh, the let's play right here. Next time we will probably just start where we just were, but maybe not. I'm gonna think through. You know, just kind of the area that we're playing in and what our progression path will be. So, thanks for coming out and watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.